Uh, this is a candelabra that I uh, made using six strands of quarter inch solid square bar uh, hot roll. And um, it's a, what I call a Celtic weave because I had learned this technique by, by looking at a lot of uh, ancient Celtic jewelry. Um, often uh, uh, hoards, they're called hoards of Celtic jewelry are found in, have been found in uh, Britain, Scotland, and Ireland. Apparently when the Celts were threatened as a tribe, they would bury their neck rings, torques, their other jewelry. And there's a fascinating thing about gold. When you put gold in the ground, it does not oxidize. So it's just as shiny as the day you buried it. And so when they would uh, bury their jewelry, you know, all of the silver and the bronze and the copper pieces would all be corroded, but the gold would be shiny. And if it was done any kind of weave, I could study that photograph, and through trial and error, I could re um, sort of refabricate the same pattern. And I've done that with this in steel. Now I've got the I'm using a torch, an uh, oxyacetylene torch, and I'm bending every single joint is forged on this. So there's six strands that I've started with, and they're all overhand knots. So I'll, I do the, the um, you start at the bottom of the stack and you bend over the left and the, or the, the opposite and then you just keep going around and you always work from the bottom up. The difficulty is in keeping it even. That's the difficulty. So anyway, this is about two feet tall, all done in mild steel. And it's got a, just a clear cryline finish for... Um, because it's an interior piece in, indoors. There you go.